Hello. I came out on a Starbucks drive. It's 10 p.m. And I've just ended up booking myself a hotel on my own for no reason. Just needed to escape. Just needed a change of scenery, not gonna lie. I need to go home and grab some stuff. And then I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm being very vague right now, like, why don't we just dive right into it? I know the video's just started, but if you're new here, I'm Chloe, strap in. I get quite deep a lot. Anyway, I had a meltdown before. I had a proper meltdown. Like, I've had a few crying moments recently. Just been very emotionally drained. But today, like, it really hit me. Like, I think I've been struggling for a while, but... I don't know. That's the point of where I'm at right now. I'm in a complete... I just don't know stage. I feel like a lost cause. I feel like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I feel like I don't know what the fuck I want or need to do about it. Anyway, I came out on a drive before because that's what I do when I feel like I just need to clear my head. And I just had a meltdown, the biggest meltdown that I've had in a long time. Like I was sobbing so much that I coughed and nearly threw up. Awesome. Then I'm probably gonna go on a night out tomorrow night and pretend I'm okay. No, that's let's not joke about mental health. Like I will be okay tomorrow night. That's the thing. It's like when I'm okay, I'm genuinely I feel fine. And then it'll just catch up to me. It just creeps up behind me and it's like, no, you're not. Is it like a bad sign when you're always down for spontaneous stuff? Like, does that just mean I have no true place in life or am I reading into that too much? Like, does it make me cool and fun or scattered? Hi, just dropping in to say that you should definitely follow my socials right now. Go and follow my socials and then carry on watching the video. We're on route! Woo! Gotta be something a little bit- Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Why am I going to a hotel on my own at 11 o'clock on a Thursday night? Okay. Well this video is going to be about 3 minutes long because that's how long I'm spending in the hotel. That was not funny. What am I doing? Where am I going? The road right in front of my hotel is closed! Completely. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? I literally just need to go right there. I knew it couldn't be that easy. Reroute me. Oh shit, I've gone down this road, which is like the steepest road in Manchester. Ready? Whoa! I don't want to go down this. Oh, Chloe, don't be a pussy. Like what? It's a fucking road. Whoa! Let's hope my brakes don't fail. No, seriously. Where? Where am I doing a U-turn? Fucking pavement's there. It was about to send me back to the road that's closed where I just fucking came from. I'll find my own way there. Now I'm just lost in the city centre. Fuck off! I no wait, no! I meant to go up there! It's up there! How do I get there? What the fuck is going on? Well, I have 19 minutes left to check in, so that's really good. Okay, my camera went off for about three seconds and I'd like to update you that I'm about to end up on the motorway. There are probably many more efficient ways to help your mental health, i.e. counselling, but Chloe decides to do this instead. Wait, no, I should have gone down there. No! All my problems would have been solved. I might go home and take the L. This does not make me feel good. Why didn't I get an Uber? My camera went off. I have no idea when, but I have been talking to myself for a while, it seems. I've just found parking. Imagine if they decline me for checking in. I'll have a fight with them. I won't do that. This is also a fucking creepy car park. Like, I just want to park near the exit and go. Oh, let's park right here. Going in. I'm done. Also, I got a new piercing today. Ah. My hair's stuck on it. I wasn't even going to film this experience. God, imagine if I didn't get a video out of this. I actually was going to do this for leisure. This was not meant to be for a video whatsoever. I was thinking, oh no, I don't even know if I want to film because I really do just want to switch off and relax. Oh, I would have been feeling. And <sighs> getting in the lift and I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't have a fucking clue where I'm going. What's going on, mate? Where am I going? Wait, I wanted to go down, didn't I? No, this is so... Nah, 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 nah. Oh my god, there's two people kissing over there. Look at this! That's the entrance to the hotel and that's the road that was closed. Oh, brilliant. Oh yeah, that looks well nice. Wow, that's a nice bath that I thought I was getting. Okay. Not too shabby. Let's check the view of the big city. Okay, best thing about the Hilton, you get cookies. Hilton cookie review. Is she bendy? Oh, kind of, kind of. She's got a little bit of depth to her. I'm gonna give her that. Do I have any other food? Bottle of water. Sparkly, that's a violation. Oh. This is the life. This is a good cookie. Delivery, I think it is. I'll be right back. I'm back already. I've just ordered a Nudo sushi box. That's what I always used to order when I lived in the center. I'm taking a good old trip down memory lane. I've got the vegetable katsu curry because when I used to get the katsu curry that was actual chicken, it was just questionable. That chicken was not right. Now we wait. Oh, maybe I should watch some YouTube. No, Chloe, do some work. I should do some work. Ah, 
like you cunt. Hair stuck on my piercing. What a day, eh? At least I got a new piercing. That's cool. How's I managed to make a mess already? I tell you what, when I do go out, oftentimes I do look like I've got my shit together. Whether that's reality or not is a different story. Have I even given you a room tour? Wait, you literally saw it when I came in. It is a box. My food is here. I've not vlogged anything because I've just been having like a long chat with my friend about like mental health stuff and how we're apparently completely in the same boat and we had no idea about that. But yeah, talk to your friends because you will not know which of your friends are going through a similar thing to you or going through anything unless you speak to each other. Chances are there are multiple people that you're around who you might be looking at them and looking at their life and thinking, oh, how do they manage to be so happy all the time? How do they manage to keep everything in order all the time? Like they're just sailing through life and behind closed doors, it could be the complete fucking opposite. So please check up on your friends because to put it into perspective, like the friend that I've just been talking to is like from the outside in, you would never, you wouldn't have a clue that they're feeling like that. And that's shit, especially when most people are like scared to talk about their feelings or they feel like they can't. A lot of us feel like we're going to be a burden if we start offloading all of our problems onto someone else and that is never the case. And that's what I told this person. I was like, I know it feels like a burden to rant to someone because you just think no one else is going to give a fuck about your problems and everyone's got their own shit to deal with and like you should just suck it up and deal with it yourself. But that's not the case. You have to talk to other people. And if the people that you try and talk to seem to be like dismissive about it or they just don't get it or they seem to be judging you for it fuck them just keep keep trying to talk to people until someone until you find an actual good person who wants to listen anyone who's dismissive over someone else's mental health is like that's, that's their problem not yours and if you don't feel comfortable talking to anyone in your personal life about it then you can always seek professional help i used to be so okay with talking about mental health and i feel like now i get quite uncomfortable talking about it it's like i don't like talking about my mental struggles whilst i'm in the midst of them like i'd rather wait for it to blow over and then i can talk about mental health stuff when it's in the past. I don't like talking about it like in the now because it's all very present and very real and I'm trying to figure it out. So I don't like talking about it. To put it simply, like at the minute, I'm just struggling with motivation a lot, like a lot. <sighs> and I started to struggle with motivation for like small things. Like small tasks seem like mountains for me at the minute. No one really sees that. No one sees that. Like even people in like my personal life, I don't really talk to anyone. <laughs> I do, as much as I'm, I preach about talking. I love talking to my mom. I like talking to my mom because she just gets me. Hi mom, I know you're watching this. But yeah, another thing like that I've been doing so much recently is like severely oversleeping. I'm not gonna go into detail. I'm not gonna offload it all on camera right now. Not feeling that but um i just want to let you know that one if you're feeling any sort of pain or struggle or there's something that's just slightly out of character for you and you feel like you want to talk to someone about it talk to someone journal i promise you it doesn't have to be this big task find any fucking piece of paper write down whatever's on your mind write it down like a conversation okay i will literally sometimes get my journal out and i'll be like i don't even know what i'm about to write right now um write every single little sentence that comes into your head and get it onto that paper and eventually things will then start coming to you because you get into the flow of just writing your thoughts down you start focusing on the paper instead and then all the thoughts start coming through the way that i can visually describe journaling and how it will help you for me it's like imagine your mind and your thoughts being a clumped up like ball of string like knotted up and then when you journal and you get it all down it's like it's just been unraveled into just like a straight line that is how I can visually describe it to you. The notes app is a last resort. Always try to write down like on physical paper if you can. I don't know why, but it's just so much better. And it's a lot more like therapeutic and it'll, it just gets you into like a more focused zone. If you don't want to type it out, if you don't want to write, speak into your voice notes on your phone so you feel like you're having a conversation with someone. And don't beat yourself up for whatever you're going through. Don't dismiss your mental health. I feel like I'm still doing that a little bit. I feel like I'm still dismissing my mental health. Like even today, I'll be physically struggling to just do something i'll have david goggins his voice in the back of my head going Stop being a pot. and i'm like david not now so i got the vegetable katsu curry but i also got vegetable gyozas i always think i can eat way more than i can when i order Ugh. good night It was real. Good morning. I can't sleep on this side because of my piercing, but hell yeah. Today has been a day of spontaneity. I mean, yesterday. Oh God. I mean, actually my piercing was planned. I kind of thought that I was just gonna go with my mom to get her ear pierced. I didn't really know what I wanted done. So we can class that as spontaneity. And then I ended up here. 
it's like half ten. I want to go and run on the treadmill. I'm not going to be able to do much else because I've not eaten and I can feel how empty my stomach is. I'm not going to have that much energy. I'm going to at least get myself down to the gym. Really looking forward to going to this coffee shop. Right, I'm not gonna lie, I have left it until I have literally 36 minutes until I need to leave the hotel. Do I do it anyway though? Like, do I just prove I can get my ass up and go and run on the treadmill and that is my fitness done for the day? Yes, I do. I'm gonna prove that to you. I'm showing myself how easy it is. Let me get my workout clothes on. You know, if it turns out we don't have a gym, it was the thought that counts. Okay, it's not gonna work. My AirPods broke, so now I have to use these. Wait, why is this so good? Oh, now I need a piss. No time for that, Chloe, no time. dilemma. I got to my hotel room at 12.01 and my card won't work on the door because I'm meant to have checked out. Now I'm gonna need to go and get someone to let me in. Looks like Chloe's not having a shower after the gym. I'm in. I was just checking to see if I can wear this cap today because I can't do my hair. This cap is my only option but I've got that piercing done on the top of my ear. I've had to like really loosen it because it hurts like a Fucking bitch. One strand of hair lightly tugged on it before. Lightly. And I literally felt this headache sensation go through my forehead. That's not good. Oh, something else I was going to talk about. I just had an epiphany when I was sat on the toilet. Like, how are there so many other humans on this earth, yet we still actually manage to believe that our problems are, are so big and get consumed? in our own mind. Our brains make us feel alone. No, like, I'm not even just, like, making a statement. Like, this is a genuine question. How, when there are so many other humans living their own lives on this planet, and we see them, we physically see them every day, we're aware that we're on this planet with other humans, how do our brains still manage to make us feel alone? How do our brains still manage to make us feel like we're the only person going through something? I genuinely believe it is a superpower. The human being's superpower is being delusional. We're deluded. Well, that's like, there's no other way to put it. I was literally just sat on the toilet like, hang on a minute. I was stood next to this old man and his wife at the check-in, and then I was sat on the toilet and I thought about him and I was like, he will have lived about 70 years of dealing with his own problems and being consumed in whatever's going on in his life. And I don't give a fuck. I won't even fucking, I didn't exist for half of that. Do you know what I mean? Like what is wrong with us? I'm gonna go get changed. I was meant to check out 15 minutes ago. Wearing the same outfit as yesterday. Oh wait, Anna. Might put a different top on. Ooh. No, right, okay, I know what I'm wearing. BRB. Whoa, we're in the bathroom. This is my outfit. See my shorts. Can't really, oh, fuck it. Let's do a little bit of skincare. You see, I'm about to leave and I'm gonna go and sit in this coffee shop and not a single soul has to know that one, I had an intense meltdown yesterday and two, I've impulsively booked a hotel and haven't washed properly and I'm now doing my work in the coffee shop. That looks questionable, let me let you in on a little secret. I went in the bathroom last night at home to get my toothbrush and toothpaste and inhaler and got distracted by I don't know what. Anyway, moral of the story, what? Walks back out without it. I've not brushed my teeth last night or this morning. I'm gonna have to go buy one and brush my teeth in the coffee shop toilet. <laughs> That's so gross. I'm so gross right now. <laughs> oh well. Curl my eyelashes and then we're good to go. I honestly think I need this to be like a regular occurrence in my life. Like just randomly book a hotel and live here for the night in order to stimulate my brain. Like, I think that's genuinely what it needs. Like, I need to just go a little bit off the wall every now and again. I'm literally 10 minutes away from my house. Like, shut up. <laughs> Please, if you're new here, don't judge me off this one video. It's not good for me. My hair looks ratty, but honestly, I'm okay with it. Okay, time to check out and go and get a toothbrush. You know what? I've enjoyed this experience. And I like this hotel. I'd stay here again. So 
Sorry, I just got a Snapchat that I just half swiped. <laughs> Right then. Oh, I don't have enough room in my back of my hoodie. See, I knew this. When I left the house yesterday, it literally went through my head. I was like, when I don't wear this hoodie tomorrow, where's it gonna go? And I just didn't care. I just thought, deal with it tomorrow. Now it's tomorrow. What am I gonna do? I act like everything's the end of the world. Like, watch what I'm gonna do. Shut the fuck up. Watch what I'm gonna do. I didn't actually solve it as quickly as I thought. Oh, I need to fart again. No, do you mean you can feel it before it comes out and you're like, this is not gonna be good. Uh, no, no. Yeah. One of these days, this bag is literally gonna pull my fucking arm out of its socket. It's like literally half my size. Look at that. Time to leave. Am I a woman? Am I classed as a woman now? Like I'm nearly 20 years old. That's a disgusting thought that I'm not ready to tackle right now. Have I got everything? Right, it's got to go check out. Fancy seeing you again. Right, I've just checked out. See, is she on? Oh, fucking hell. Some literal 50 year old man just shouted nice body out of his car. I know, I can see you. Going about two miles an hour. I had no joke been on the pavement for less than 20 seconds when that man cat called me. I'm getting severe spine and shoulder pain from this bag. This walk was a lot longer than I thought it was. But actually, no, I think I'm just in pain and I need to go and get a fucking toothbrush. <laughs> Did I just get an Uber 120 seconds down the road? Yes. I was not carrying this bag. I was not about to carry this bag for that far. No, not again. Anyway, about to go back down to that dodgy car park and drive home. Oh my God, I'm really struggling here. Time to go home, bitch. Oh my God, I was just meant to drive off. I've not even put the fucking keys in the ignition. What an adventure. Let's move. Please pay fee. I'm trying. What do you want me to do? I'm tapping my car. Whoa, fuck me. Nearly ran him over. <laughs> he came out of nowhere. Look next time, because I wasn't. Where the fuck am I going? My camera died before, right when I was about to take a bite out of that sandwich, but oh my god, it was delicious. I sure will do, honey bun. Let me know what you thought of this video anyway. It's not over yet. Maybe it is. Maybe it just needs to end right now. Oh, thanks for letting me out. You cunt. Oh, thank you. Why did I leave it in like that? Let's just have a little chat about like the reason why I actually went to the hotel in the first place. Like I had that meltdown yesterday and I was like, I just want to book a hotel. And you know, hopefully like in the morning I'll wake up feeling a bit more motivated and re-inspired and just feel a little bit better for getting out. And I don't know why I'm so surprised, but like I've done everything that I said I was gonna do and I genuinely feel like how I expected to feel it was a success and I don't know why I'm surprised like obviously I wanted it to be a success but kind of like I was just being impulsive and I was like hopefully I'll feel better whatever but yeah I genuinely feel really good it's been really nice it's been like overwhelmingly nice like that's exactly what I needed anyway this video is probably gonna take me about 40 hours to edit in total so i'm just gonna cut it off here yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you took something of value if you enjoyed this video leave me a like leave me a comment help me with the algorithm help to push my videos up there and other people's recommended subscribe if you haven't already turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload go and follow my socials i'm very active on there thank you for joining me on my little trip i will see you in another video soon Wait, oh, that's awkward it didn't go off